Hey YouTube, I got my hands on this old broken projector because I knew it would have some interesting optics inside. The projector failed to produce a clear and in-focus image regardless of how close or far the projecting surface was or how you adjusted the focused and zoom knobs on the projecting optics. Given the age and low resolution, it's worth more as individual parts than as a projector all on its own. After a quick teardown, I found what I was looking for the dichroic glass elements in the optical path. Dichroic glass uses thin film interference to selectively reflect certain wavelengths of light. This is the same mechanism that causes the colors to be formed in thin films like soap bubbles. In this projector, there were a number of dichroic glass elements. There were some dichroic mirrors which are used to selectively pass and reflect certain wavelengths of light a couple of dichroic lenses which were used for focusing different wavelengths of light and a dichroic prism. The dichroic mirrors are used to selectively send certain wavelengths of light in one direction or another in order to create a red, a green and a blue light path. These different light paths go through three separate LCDs. The three colors from the three different LCDs are then reassembled by the dichroic prism allowing for a full color projection. Here I am shining white light into the dichroic prism. You can see that it splits different wavelengths into different directions. When being used in the projector, it is being used in the opposite manner. Different wavelengths are being fed in from different sides and white light is coming out the front. Here I have two dichroic glass lenses and three dichroic mirrors. The color you see is the light which has passed through the glass reflected off the white material and then bounced back to your eyes. You can see that under indirect lighting the colors of each sheet of glass changes. This is because the light is no longer passing through the glass. It is just reflecting off of that dichroic surface. I'm passing white light from an incandescent bulb through diffraction grating allowing us to see the spectrum. When I place the dichroic glass mirror in between the diffraction grating and the white light we can see that the blue drops off the spectrum. This is because the dichroic coating reflects blue light, allowing the red and green light to pass through. Similarly, when I put the next two dichroic mirrors in between the white light and the diffraction grating one at a time, we can see that different parts of the spectrums are reflected. These are shown as a dark band in the spectrum. To show how they were used inside the projector, I have lined them up so that white light passes through the largest dichroic mirror, through the medium one, and then through the smallest one. We can then view the reflections off of the front of each surface. You can see that from the largest mirror we get the blue channel, from the next smaller one we get the green channel, and finally from the last mirror we get the red channel. Here we see the spectrum of this arrangement of the dichroic mirrors, passing through the diffraction grating. You can see that as the light passes through each diffraction grating and reflects off the next, we get a clear blue, green, and red reflection. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.